I'm Ray Wynn Grant, and I'm a wildlife scientist. And today, we're going to talk about human wildlife conflict. Human wildlife conflict is negative interactions between humans and wild animals. Human wildlife conflict isn't a fight between a person and an animal. It's almost always a conflict over shared resources, so most often food. There's all kinds of human wildlife conflict. Some are very mild, so think of whether you or someone in your family has a garden and whether cute little bunnies ever hop around and nibble on all the lettuces and different plants in the garden. That's a type of human wildlife conflict where the person has the intention of growing some food and the animal has the same intention of eating that food. Not all wild animals can eat human food. But the ones that can often find it easier to access human food than to go foraging in the forest or in a natural area. People and bears like to eat a lot of the same foods, and that can obviously cause some tremendous problems. They often are found getting into people's garbage cans. One of the reasons this happens is because bears have an excellent sense of smell. So a bear can smell something yummy from up to a mile away. As the black bear population grows anywhere in the country, the human population is also growing. We're not getting fewer people in this country, we're getting more. And so if we have more bears and more people, there's gonna be fewer spaces for bears and probably more spaces for people. It's very likely that we're going to continue cutting down forested areas in order to make room for people. We see it happening outside of cities, you know, as suburbs keep growing and growing. We're encroaching into wildlife habitat and often bear habitat. One of the most important ways we can protect bears and people when we're sharing the same space is to make sure that we properly dispose of our trash. So of course that means don't litter, don't leave trash around, but if you do have something to throw away, put it in a bear-proof trash can, which means one that bears that can't just open up the top and grab in. I think bears look really cute, you might think so too, but remember they're wild animals and they can be extremely dangerous. The best thing is to always give them their space, know that this is their home and we're just a part of it visiting. Wildlife and wild animals are critically important to keeping this planet healthy and strong. We need kids like you who are passionate about animals to help us keep studying wildlife and wild places to make sure we're able to answer the questions that we don't you know yet how to answer.